Hi, I'm Lance King, and today I want to show you some exercises on feedback. Now, feedback is the only mechanism by which we can ever really improve by having someone else comment on our performance, whether it's a sporting performance or an academic performance, and telling us what we need to change and what we need to do better. Then um, going back and making those changes and doing better. That's how we improve in anything. And the entire scientific community is rest, rests on this because of peer-reviewed journals. So if you've written a paper that you want to have published, you submit it, and an expert panel will look through it and give you feedback on what works and what doesn't work, on whether it's worth publishing or what you need to change. So getting good feedback on the work you're doing at school or at university is really, really important and is the best way that you can um, produce your best work. So, how do we do this? Well, we need to go to here, we'll go to the, M, uh, the DP portal. This is only found in the DP portal in research skills. And there it is there, use feedback to evaluate research. There's a couple of exercises there. The first one is, there's a, a lot of information there on um, how to give and receive feedback. Essentially, it comes down to the, if I'm asking you to give me some feedback on something I've written, I've got to ask very, very clear and specific questions. You know, can you give me some comments on my idea sequence, on my uh, word use, on my whatever? And so the, the person seeking the feedback has to ask specific questions. And when the when that person receives the feedback from the other person, there's only one acceptable response, and that is thank you. Doesn't matter what they say, doesn't matter what any feedback is good feedback, and the only thing you're allowed to say is thank you. No justifications or defense or anything, just say, oh, thank you. So that's what that first part's about. The second part is looking for effective feedback protocols. There's lots of different ways that you can give and receive feedback, little, little different systems. And so what I suggest you do is you get together, say, three friends in a group, and you have a look at each of these models. There's four models here, ladder of feedback, warm and cool feedback, giving feedback, mind tools, thoughtful feedback. Just search for those four different ways. One person, look at each one and then tell the others about it and decide on a feedback model that you'd all like to use. One of these might appeal to you. I'll try them all. But, you know, it would be good to have a method of giving and receiving feedback that you feel very comfortable with. And then the last part asks about social media feedback. This is, um, let's say you've written something that you're proud of and you want to get feedback and you want to use social media to do that. What's the best way to do that? And there's just a table down here that asks you the important questions and it's asking you to choose which social media platforms you think would give you the type of feedback you're looking for. Ticks or crosses in the boxes that apply to each one. You see that? So if, you, if, if the type of feedback you wanted was to share the whole piece of work and then get detailed written feedback on all aspects, which platform would you use? Is there another one? If you wanted to share passages or quotes and get quick, affirming, critical feedback, which one would you use? You can work this through. You know these much better than I do. And then ask for a couple of questions. Describe some of the difficulties in getting good, honest feedback on your work through social media. It's not easy, is it? And what would be the best way of getting good feedback, do you think, through social media? So there's some, once you finish those exercises, you should be better at uh, getting good feedback, which definitely will improve your performance in everything you do. Thank you. Goodbye.